got to keep my job friendly. So is there any way that that can be done legally? If it isn't, you tell us and then I'm sure. I just don't think that you have a factual Reddit, uh, record here. A specific case? That distinguishes between how the laws are being enforced in the eight and a half square mile area any differently than throughout the rest of the county. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Diaz. Thank you. And I've been dealing with this for a very long time, legally and non-legally on the sense of emotions. But it, it, she brings a point. If we're going out, and by the way, the mayor brought a point too. The mayor basically said these are mandates that are given to the director, the director, the mandates were given by us. And we have to sit back now and since we're only doing one part of it, we cannot do the other part. It puts, up in a situ puts us in a very awkward position. There's people going to court on something that we're probably going to go back and probably really, really consider differently. And that they're going to be paying fines, they're going to be paying all kinds of things, attorneys and everything else, which further hinders them at, as residents. Yet, you're saying, and I want to make sure of this, that since there's not a particular case before us, we cannot act. I, I want to be real clear because I, I missed you on that. I'm saying that you have a law that's in effect right now of general application throughout the county. And what's being proposed that you, you carve out a section of the county for purposes of applying that law, unless there is a factual predicate to show that those laws are being enforced differently in the eight and a half square mile area, so as to warrant such a selective moratorium in effect, that you have a legal concern of selective enforcement. So what you're saying is... How that about the, the definition is on wetlands? <coughs> that's, that's Just on wetlands. It's the same thing. The but law of general oh, application that I'm talking okay. about are the, the wetland laws. There's wetlands to the east, there's wetlands to the west, and there's wetlands to the north and south. But no right. hydrology consideration here, okay, which is required. Alice. Okay. Can we just do it all wetlands? Can we just restrict it on all wetlands? I mean, this is only a two-week two, or two week period. I mean, are we planning on going to court right now, tomorrow, the day after? <laughs> no. I, in fact, I would, I would welcome anybody to take a look at the Durham enforcement files, and we've been talking about them generally, but look through all the files. They're open um, for, for cases of abuse. Okay. But aside from that, um, the, this board certainly has the authority to have a moratorium generally generally of the of those provisions well I, i'd be leery to jump into it right yeah, now without any further things so uh we can leave that for another day your motion at least helps some we won't be able to stop the liens right now based on our Mr. Legal advice can can we just request though that uh, miss penna get the document that she's asking for she's asking for a hydrology study why doesn't she have it those are very Never simple received. things That's from the task force there. right you're requesting it I, I requested, requested it from day one. It's been ignored totally. Why and is that? Um, the recommendations, final recommendations, are coming in with the giving them more power. In other words, mm. everything, all the lands that are going to be purchased outside of the UDB have to go through Durham first. So that means that <laughs> the nightmare that we're going through is going to happen all over. And uh, so you can close down the county. No more businesses. Agriculture will be there. Mr. Chair, all, all due respect, I'm not sure what Ms. Ms. Penn is referring to regarding uh, land purchases going through Durham. Is that, that's nothing that I've heard. That's part of the report from the Wetlands Task It was in the report. It was in the report that was okay, handed Okay, this, this is, it's, is that a courtroom? There's no debate. She made a point. You made yours. We'll, we'll find it later. There was a request by Commissioner Bell to what should have been, just as a matter of course, giving her the, uh, the papers they asked for. I mean, we constituted this task force, and it was to work with the administration. Is there a reason why she doesn't have that? She's, Ms. Penn is asking for a hydrologic study, and it has to do with when you go to determine whether something is a wetland. The county is bound by state law to use the state's method, which includes looking at the soil type, the plant type, and hydrology. And it's generally two out of those three things that make a wetland jurisdictional. Did you respond at least to her request that, would you just tell me now, that that's why you couldn't do it? That discussion has been throughout the, the task force meetings. We've had presentations from the state. They okay. came down and, and, and described how you determine a wetland. We had the federal government do the same thing, and we did the same thing as well. And okay. Mr. Chair, if I may, I'll do respect. Sure, absolutely. Regarding the fines, we are not in the, and we're not in the business of trying to collect fines from, from property owners. What ends up happening is we can't, as a department, independently impose fines upon a property owner other than writing them a ticket for $100. What happens is when you have an enforcement case and the property owner does not either get a permit or resolve the violation by removing the fill that they placed in wetlands, 
we end up in, in some cases going through this uh, civil court system and we go to a judge and we make our case, the property owner makes their case, the penalties are imposed by a judge. There are penalties that are outstanding that just sit there and we're not actively trying to collect on those penalties because it's not really in our interest. We just want compliance. That's, that's our main objective. It's just to have it it's consistent and fair throughout the county because many of your constituents do get permits. Thank you, sir. And we need to wrap this up. No, we need to wrap it up. Commissioner Diaz? Uh, and I would like uh, the, the chair that's, uh, that's heading up this and what was happening is very simple. When you do the wetland report, and the reason why she's asking is because certain parts of the year create a wetland situation. And certain times within that year could be create a wetland situation. But we look at it as a full wetland year round due to that particular creation. So could you look into that too, please? That's, that's key, what I'm saying to you. Because it happens in the C9 and it happens in many other parts okay. where depending on the type of year and depending on the rain, it has created wetlands but then it's accepted as well and all year round, and I think that's part of what it's going to. So let's let's look at that too, that's basically. Thank you. Mr. Chair, Chair, thank you. On, separate and apart from this issue. Okay. Then if you could pr please, uh, either the attorneys or the department, <coughs> prepare the report matrix style, you know, saying here are the federal state, state regulations, and this is what we have on above and beyond, a line item by line item, so we could take a look at this and obviously distribute it to all the members. Thank Mr. You. Attorney, you get that to us? Yes, sir, we will. Get it to all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a great day.